There are experimental setups that had to be built with lead bricks from an ancient Roman shipwreck. But those have nothing to do with Romans or bricks or ships for that matter. They are actually about finding dark matter. The dark matter experiment made of Roman lead. Some extremely sensitive detection experiments, like CDMS and Cuore, looking for dark matter and neutrinos, need to be shielded from absolutely any type of particle or radiation. They are buried underground or deep inside mountain chains. But even there, the detectors themselves need to be shielded from radiation, mostly from the surrounding rock. To stop gamma radiation, these need to be encased in shielding of extremely dense materials, in most cases lead. These experiments are so ultra-sensitive that a new problem arises that can normally be ignored. Lead itself also contains radioactive isotopes, mostly lead-210. This is the uranium-238 decay chain. And especially these two elements, radium-226 and radon-222, are somewhat ubiquitous in the Earth's crust and they can get almost anywhere. Down the chain, they can decay into lead-210, which is also radioactive. Because these elements are in natural rocks wherever you go, any lead refined and freshly smelted inevitably contains some lead to 10. And there are no large-scale industrial processes to avoid that. How could the Romans avoid this contamination then? Well, they couldn't. Their process was, if anything, worse than what we're doing now. But the thing is, once you remove the lead out of the ground, it is no longer irradiated by uranium and radon, and all the radioactive lead to 10 decays with a half-life of 22 years. So the point about Roman lead is not that it's better, but that it's old. The radioactive parts of the lead have been decaying for 2000 years now, so there's almost nothing left of it by now. So the only way to get lead that is not radioactive is to wait. Sometimes even the most high-tech and cutting-edge physics experiments must rely on literally ancient metals. Subscribe for more awesome physics.